there Pisces, welcome to my channel, I'm the Soul Teacher and I'm here today to do your new week reading. This is for the week between 22 and 28 February. We have a full moon in Virgo on the 27th of February, gosh. <laughs> um, so this is a week of, really? <laughs> this is a week of closing out of cycles, um, getting our manifestations to ground <laughs> to reality. Pisces, oh my goodness, what is this? Your card is going all over the place. So let's just see what is your overall energy for the week. Sisterhood of the Rose. Beauty and devotion. Priestess, mystic, teacher. Wow. Now, Pisces, you are the dreamer of the zodiac. So your feminine energy is very, very strong. When I say feminine energy, I'm talking about um, your intuition, um, spiritual guidance. I'm talking about all the stuff that has got nothing to do with, as with action because that's the masculine side of things. Um, now is the time to put that masculine, oh, sorry, the feminine energy to work and to see what this is all about. You are a teacher, you are a mystic, a priestess, beauty and devotion. That's gorgeous. So if you're male or female is totally irrelevant, it's about the energy. So Pisces, let's see what this week has in store for you. If it's your birthday this week, happy birthday. Okay, Pisces, what do you need to think about this week? What do you need to do this week? What is your challenge and your guidance? Okay, so what do you need to think about this week, Pisces? Sacrifice. This is the hanged man. This is enlightenment. This is going within that feminine energy and having an awakening. And that is a card that actually jumped out when I was shuffling, was awakening. Um, this is you becoming enlightened. This is you stopping, hanging yourself upside down, allowing the light to come in and see who and what you really are. The priestess, the teacher, the mystic. What you need to do this week Oof, that's gorgeous. This is the nine of pentacles. This, this is material harvest. So what I feel, Pisces, is it's, it's basically the same as um, Scorpio's reading, is this week you need to really see who and what you are and step into that power. And what you need to do is you need to go get that harvest. You need to go get that material harvest because you deserve it. Your challenge is patience and planning because you see... That is what Pisces does the best. You have lots of patience and you plan meticulously and perfectly. But the moment you need to put it over into action, that's when, that's your nemesis. And this is what this card is telling you to do. Is you need to, to, to yes, you've done, the, you've done the planning, you've been so patient, but the planning is now done, Pisces. It's time to take action. And this is your Challenge is you want to keep on planning and you can't. You need to take action now. Your guidance is exactly that patience and planning of yours have made sure that you have this beautiful firm foundation in place. And because you have this firm foundation in place, it is now time to start building on that. And yeah, Pisces, this is, this is basically being one of the biggest um, messages right through the full moon readings to the, the, the forecast of the week is you need to start taking action. So Pisces, no more planning. Your planning is perfect. Now it's time to put that plan into action. I'm wishing you a great and wonderful week. I'll speak to you again soon. Take care.